Are you saying to me that I should, as a 32-year-old man that's cancer-free, um, God willing, thank God, touch wood, um, I should calorie restrict myself to keep my mitochondria healthy mm. and my me- metabolism healthy now? I should be in a, in a sort of a calorie restricted state. You know, I, I, state. I say it's good to visit the state uh, our Paleolithic ancestors had no choice. There wasn't a donut shop on every corner. There so, wasn't pizzas. There, wa- there weren't the kinds of highly processed carbohydrate foods available to them. So should I be fasting? Should I be doing keto? I, you know, I don't want to tell you what you should or should not do. I'm not a physician here. I'm a scientist. I study what causes these things, and I study how to manage them. You have to read what I'm saying, and you have to come to your own decisions about how you want to conduct your life. What I've your given view? you information. What's your view on fasting? Fasting is a powerful uh, way to get your body into nutritional ketosis, but it ain't easy. Try doing it. Try You try doing it. Let's see how, how easy it is. It ain't easy, right? Uh, but that's why we developed this procedure where if you go, um, rather than going cold turkey uh, and say, well, today I'm going to have a big, I'm going to eat as much as I can, and then tomorrow, okay, you can go tomorrow. I can, it's the second, third days when you start to really know what the hell's going on. And believe me, I've tried it. It's, it ain't easy. That's why we developed uh, a zero-carb diet for 14 days, 10 to 14 days, just zero. You eat meat, fish, chicken, whatever you want, but just don't eat any bread, pasta, this kind of thing. On keto... Um, how do we get into that sort of ketosis state that people often talk about? Measure your glucose ketone index. How do I do that? With the, 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 the keto mojo meter. You can buy it from Amazon. Okay. Okay, you can buy. Now, don't forget, they get a free Libra meter now for the blood. They're working on ketone blood meters, but it's not there yet. Right now, the keto mojo or some other keto meters where you can take a, prick your finger like a diabetic, you take a glucose strip and you put it on the blood and you put it into the machine, it tells you what your glucose is. Squeeze your finger a little bit more, take the ketone strip, touch it to the blood, put it in the meter, it gives you the ketone value, push the button, GKI comes right up. Okay. Okay, very simple. Everybody can buy it from from Amazon, get the meter, buy the consumables, uh, and then they can test it. This is what Pablo, this is what all the, the, the cancer patients, the ones who really want to get into metabolic ketosis. I think I've tried keto before, and I say think because I didn't measure yeah. my, my keto levels. Yeah. So I was assuming I did. Y- yeah. No, it's really people say, well, I haven't eaten, you know, I'm in ketosis. How do you know? Well, I blew into this thing and the bulb came out. I peed on a strip. It looked like it was ketosis. They are indirect measures. The, the most accurate is the blood measure. So um, it's hard to stay in that state for most people, right? This is one of the things. Because I hear. the temptations in our society are so strong. Yeah. I mean, Paleolithic man had no choice. Do you think he? That was his state. That's all he knew for thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. That's all he knew. He didn't say, "I may go down to get a, a big jelly-filled donut down at the, at the end of the, the river there." No, there's none of that. He had to live in that state. Now we have so many temptations. All the things that we are biologically clear for. When you see obesity, that's evolution in action. They are the descendants of our long ancestors that could hold on to energy so efficiently. We were an energy-starved species for the majority of our existence on the planet. So anything we ate would be a, a, a very little waste. We never pee out glucose. Glucose is converted to fat, and we store energy as fat. So those guys are energy-efficient human beings. Now all of a sudden we find ourselves with everything. And that's evolution in action, man. We're just, we're just, you're allowing to see the, how we can store energy so efficiently because our ancestors lived through such um, environmental forcing. We had famines. We had long treks. We, our body could store energy so efficiently because it wasn't, we had to store what little we could get from the environment. But now, now you've got, th- you know, 300 million Americans yeah. in this food environment where when, oh. it, when they walk out their front door, they yes. see the Dunkin' Donut. Oh. They can lie in bed and order a Dunkin' Donut no. to their front door in 10 minutes. You don't even have to unask the car. They can it through the window. Yeah, so no energy, to... no energy expenditure, energy in. So, so te- you know, giving them this information might f- be fairly futile because the temptation. Oh yeah, well, that, that's. I'm not here to tell people. Again, I'm not here to tell people what they should or should not do. I'm just here to explain, like, why do we have all this? Not mystery. It's all biological evolution. You understand biological evolution. Every, almost everything that I'm talking about makes perfect sense. Um, and unfortunately, that's not part of our scientific literacy anymore. So we need what discipline. Discipline is important. Um, discipline is important. Um, you know, every major religion had had a, 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 a point of fasting. 
um, to be whether you're Islamic, uh, Judaism, or whatever, Catholicism, Hinduism, whatever. I don't whatever. They always had some sort of fasting. Why why you do fasting? Because you want to purify your body. You want to become closer to God. You want to you want to you want to feel in control. Uh, and that's always part. And if you do it with prayer, it's even better. So. Uh, there was a reason for doing all that. And uh, people realized the ancients uh, knew this kind of thing. But uh, we don't do that anymore. Uh, we don't go 40 days without food like uh, Jesus did in the deserts. Um, but a human being, you could absolutely do that. I, I know because I can look at your weight, I can look at your size, and I can pretty much tell you how long you can go with before you died. And how do I know that? Because George Cahill, a good friend, late George Cahill, ran the Di Di Joslin Diabetes Center. And he, he, he evaluated people that were just good water only fasting uh, on, until, until death. And, um, and some of those constant you know, pr maze tr prison camps and things. So he was able to know how much you could, how long you could go. Now, what about um, Angus Barberi went 377 days uh, without food. George Cahill would fast some of these obese people for, for 250, 300 days. What happens inside their body? With, with They're them? burning fat. So what happens is you burn fat. Okay, liver stores a lot of, of um, uh, bones store the minerals. that You can get minerals from your bones. You can get a lot of fat uh, storage. Um, vitamins are stored in fat, a lot of but vitamin I mean, like D. In, in, outside of the weight loss, what's going on? And, you know, we said... Religious people used to fast to get closer to God, yeah. which seems to me to point to some sort of cognitive change. Yes, and that's from burning ketones. Okay. Burn, when you burn ketones, I said in the brain, when your brain starts shifting to ketones, your energy, uh, the, the bang for the buck for each calorie that comes in from a ketone body increases the efficiency of oxidative phosphorylation. So you're more focused? Oh, massively. And you know, this is why our ancestors were the way that if, you're, if you are dependent on killing some animal uh, for your survival, and you are out on the hunt, you are focused. Uh, because if you're not focused, you're gonna starve to death. So every organ, sense organ in our body is super, is super jacked when you're in these ketotic states. So, and these guys walking around with headphones, listening, to, uh, to, you know, all this. Uh, I mean, this is like depriving ourselves of the natural ways uh, of our ancestry. Don't forget, we're not just, you and I are not just here over the last, you know, 100, 300, 400 years. We, we are the descendants of members that are same as us, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of years ago. They, were, they just didn't have the technology that we have today. But if you could put a, a Paleolithic man from, say, 500,000 years ago, and you gave him a bunch of donuts and told him, oh, he would die and went to heaven. You mean to tell me I don't have to go out and kill the elk anymore? They're going to hand me the food right through the window. Of course he's going to do that. <laughs> you go in the cave and you throw a bunch of jelly-filled donuts into a bunch of cavemen who have been chewing on the uh, ha uh, half-eaten uh, rat or something. Uh, you think they're not going to eat those jelly donuts? They have... a. Uh, uh, some p chimpanzees live with a family down in Florida. There. I know it's some YouTube thing. The chimps, they're eating the food with the family. And then they give jelly sandwiches to the chimps. They're banging on the table. You think they were going to go crazy. Chimpanzees loving the jelly sandwiches. Do you have kids? Yes. What advice would you give to your children if they're listening to this now about um, how to prevent their chance of getting sick from cancer or these other Well, they probably say, well, Dad, how come you don't do a lot of the things? First of all, I'm not telling, I told you, I don't tell anybody what to do. Or, or how they do it. I'm just telling you the science behind why, why things work. Um, yeah, my, 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 my children, my two sons, and my, um, they're all very, very successful. And uh, they, they said, if we ever got cancer, we would, be doing your, we would be doing the metabolic therapy if we were to ever get cancer. And I said, just keep, you know, exercise and, and do what you can do the best you can in our environment. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, eat, I'm eating a jelly donut. I'm drinking beer. I'm drinking whiskey. Why? Because I like it. But I'm not going to be doing it all the time. You know, it's just, it's just I'm not going to be saying, oh, I'm going to eat pizza, sure. But I'm not going to be uh, uh, not doing it. I do water. I do intermittent fasting. I don't eat for 18, 20 hours at a time. I do a lot of exercise over at the university, the gym and the facilities that we have. Um, but, I, but I understand it. And then if I were to get cancer, I would have to um, bite the bullet and do what I'm would do what I know works as much as it wouldn't be pleasurable, but it would be certainly a better alternative than being irradiated and poisoned. I'm telling you that. <laughs> if that has built your conviction to the point that you're so convinced that the real issue is this sort of metabolic dysfunction, um, 
Why aren't you optimizing your life to be sort of metabolically perfect? Well, because I live in the same society you do. Yeah. Okay. And, and fortunately, yes, our technology has Im improved uh, significantly. Um, you know, I, I'm not a monk. I'm not going to be in some monastery, you know, uh, chanting something. Um, I, I, I am a member of the society just as you are. And I enjoy the things that we have to offer us to make our lives a little bit more pleasurable. There's nothing like sitting down over a nice meal and having a discussion with some wine and enjoying it. Enjoy the moment, but, that, but not to be locked into that kind of uh, diet and lifestyle all the time uh, it puts you at risk. If you love the Diary of a CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favor become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously and the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.